So my topic today, like I said, is turning our passion into income with WordPress. Many of us here are teachers, some are doctors, others are coders. So some of us have our passions in our professions. Some of us have our passions outside our professions. And then you find that the world is a funny place these days. You try to, yeah, you try, you are, we are trying to make ends meet in everything that we do. We are complaining salaries are not enough, especially those in my profession, the teachers. We are saying so and so should increase our salaries. And um, uh, people, I mean, whatever, maybe the government or our headmasters should increase our salaries. But what have we done with our passion? So today I want to show you that with WordPress, you can increase or you can boost your income. Not necessarily leaving what you've been doing, but adding to what you've already, you, you've already been doing. I'm a teacher. On top of being a teacher, I'm the proprietor of Eason Internet Cafes, the director of Eason School of Computing, and happy to serve as the coordinator for the Central Region for the ICT Teachers Association of Uganda. I attended my first word camp in November last year. And a few months down the road, I'm here to share my experience. I started, my first blog was with a, a web, the website for the Teachers Association, which is icttteachersug.net. That's why I started writing articles on what I do and my experiences in the field of teaching and computer repair and my other businesses. Then I got this, uh, maybe I should also start a blog, an independent blog, an independent blog, different from what I've been blogging in the ICT teachers website. So I started smallbiztipsug.com. So when I started doing this, I found that maybe I can also earn something if I did something for another person. I was lucky enough to get a client who came and told me he needed a website. Since I had some basics in WordPress, I created for him a website that is freehardsug.org. After doing that, and when the guy was happy, yet I was also seeing that the website was kind of lacking, for him he was happy. I said, so I can start my own. So, right now I'm working on a project, not yet completed, www.easonschool.com. That's my current project. This is the reason why many of us wake up. Some will deny, but we want to survive, we want to make money, we want to make ends meet, and many, many other reasons. And the need to supplement our incomes, like I said, keeps on rising. So, let's use our passion in conjunction with what already we are doing, such that maybe we can add another dime inside our pockets. Oprah Winfrey says, if you really want to fly, harness your power to your passion, honor your calling, and everybody including you has one. Trust your heart and success will come to you. That's Oprah Winfrey for, for those who know her. What's your passion? Is it fashion? Is it tech? Is it religion? Travel, adventure? Is it teaching? I don't know. <laughs> Today, WordPress gives you that option. And that's why we are here. For the two days we've been here. We were fortunate, some of us, last year it took us, it, we, we spent three days doing things, things like this in WordPress. What options does, does WordPress give you? WordPress will help you create websites for clients. With WordPress, you can create your own e-commerce site. 
With WordPress, you can blog on your own blog, like mine, Small Biz Tips, or you can use other people's blogs, like I do on the ICT Teachers website, and many others where I try, I try it out. On your blog also, you can advertise. All these things are being done in the comfort of your office. Maybe you are a banker, you are a doctor, you are a teacher, you don't have to leave your office, you don't have to complain about maybe lost salaries, you don't have to complain a lot about inflation, everyone is feeling the pinch, but you have something inside that God gave you, that's your passion. Let's try to use WordPress. <coughs> now, among the people here, there are, some of them spoke yesterday, some of them are just attending. Using WordPress, they have created e-commerce sites. Mahad was here yesterday. His website is zabais.com. Uh, when I asked on the WordPress community, they gave me even other suggestions. They told me chiku.com uses WordPress. I was told genpharmacy.com also uses WordPress. I was also told UG Gadgets and a whole of others. There are just too many. What of blogs? Go Take Uganda was here with us yesterday. Tech Jaja is using WordPress. I was with her in achito.wordpress.com. I was with her in at the Word, Word, WordCamp Kampala in 2018, that is in November. Charlotte was with us at the WordCamp in Kampala, WordCamp Kampala in 2018. So that's where I also picked the inspiration and said, maybe I can start smallbiztipsvg.com. By the way, don't follow it too much, thinking that it has, I'm learning, just like you are. And then, another way you can add something to your pocket. If you had a, if you had a, a blog or a website using WordPress, the teachers here have a website, icttteachersug.net. If you can open the, the ICT teachers website, that's it, that's it. <coughs> Okay, you can leave that. Eh? Then, then, don't worry. You can go to the presentation. Okay, luckily it's here. Scroll down a bit. When you scroll down, this is the ICT teacher's website. And on this website, I wrote an article. This is not my website, it's not my blog. This was simply my article. But this website is getting some money if you go down. Let's go down a bit, scroll, scroll, scroll. You'll see an advert. As more people click on this advert, the website is getting money. And you're still seated in your office. Maybe you are the boss, the deputy, or an ordinary teacher. Let's go back to our presentation. Okay, let's go ahead. Faster. Like I said, I created my first website in just a month of attending the WordCamp in Kampala in November. In December, I already had a client, and here I was. Then, technically, for me, I love preparing computers. I'm either dismantling virtually a fine one just to fill, the, fill it, and then 
One day, I wrote an article about end computing still on the Utah website. I was just sharing my experience. I was surprised that I got over 3,000 clicks. These 3,000 clicks didn't give me any money from the clicks, but the calls that came from teachers, both within Uganda and outside, at least they added something to my income. I was doing something out of passion. I was doing it because I had experienced it. I didn't know that indirectly some of you are here, you bought some computing gadgets from me. You wouldn't have known me if I hadn't written this article. I, I think so. But then everyone asks, people have ways of getting their money. Why, why would I choose WordPress? Now personally, when I look at this graph, in 2011, WordPress was powering 13.1% of websites. Maybe it wasn't serious. 2012, it went on increasing. Mm -hmm. We didn't mind. Some of us were still in school. No, no, I wasn't in school in 2011. But maybe we were skeptical. Then it kept on increasing. And then in 2018, WordPress is powering <coughs> over 30% of websites. Now, should we say these people are there by mistake? Let's go on. One thing I want, I like about WordPress, there is a lot of support. The WordPress community, they have meetups, regular meet, meetups, I think it's monthly. The WordPress community has a WhatsApp group here in Uganda, even in other countries, I belong to these groups. I've not yet attended the meetup, but at least I'm in the groups. You ask a question and someone gives you advice, free of charge. There is a website I visit a lot, wbbeginner.com. Any question, one day I was talking to Rogers. Rogers told me, you go to WP Beginner. You're not going to ask a new question. <laughs> whatever you ask, whatever you're going to ask, someone asked some years ago, or maybe months. Then YouTube is there for us. Still people upload, upload videos about their experience and, experience and how they are solving anything within, the, within WordPress. And then, with WordPress, we still have WordCamps. These are the reasons why we may prefer WordPress. We are here at a heavily subsidized cost. And when I'm earning, I don't know whether I give WordPress anything. But like you're here, that's one of the reasons I prefer WordPress. And I know they are still organizing more and more. Can we go ahead? And then, another reason why I prefer WordPress, the ease of use. The installation takes, sometimes I read five minutes, but when I was doing it with my colleagues yesterday, we spent less than, I think, around a minute or two, and we had installed WordPress. Then, WordPress has a horde of themes. You're not going to think about something that doesn't exist. Are you starting a, a website for a hospital, a school, a nursery school, your own blog, a newspaper, a sports page, anything? WordPress has them. Uh, those who mind, those who don't mind, sorry, at the end of this, you'll ask for a video. I have a video for you on my laptop where the guy explained how to create a website. It's one and a half hours. But in the first 30 minutes of the, vi the video, you will just throw away the video and start making your site, and you will be comfortable. Let's go ahead. Now, what do you need to create a, web a WordPress site? One thing is, of course, you'll need, a, you'll need a domain, like www.ezoneschool.com. You'll need that. Then you'll get a host. Like, my host currently is Center for Web Presence. Then you'll install WordPress and then make your first site. You can do this in a day. Let's go ahead and show you. Where will you get domains? Even here among us, someone will get you the domains. Media Minute is one of them. You can get domains from them and hosting. I'm talking about these people 
because these are part of the WordPress community. I was with this lady some time back. We had a meetup. Then we have center for web, webpresence.com. The contact is there. When I asked on the community, they told us about Virtual Tech Solutions, Penatech Uganda, My IT Solutions, Last Systems, Jubilee Web Host, Hub, and the guys are here with you. You don't have to go gambling elsewhere. Here you're going to deal with the person who already knows you. Can you go ahead, Daniel? But then, that's not all. If you're not comfortable trusting Rogers, trusting Stephen, we have bigger ones here. These guys are even our sponsors. GoDaddy and Bluehost. They are some of our sponsors. Although these are, these are not the only ones, you can go and get even more. Let's go on. Problem? So, hello? Okay. Now, that is the beauty of using WordPress. Now, when that comes to the end, at least I've given you a brief of why I prefer WordPress and where, how far I've been with WordPress, not even a year. Now, what I want in the remaining minutes, can we, can we go through the process of creating a website? Yes. So here we have, what, what I'm begging is, you may not go through, you just write the steps Open our browser. Okay, so here we are. We are going to create our first website in the few minutes that we have. We are going to open, is it open for me, schoolacademy.tk. We have a free domain here for practice. I was given that domain by Center for Web Presence. Rogers can take you through the process. When you get a domain, now our school, my school maybe is schoolacademy.tk. First, this is what my website looks like on getting that domain. So at the end of the schoolacademy.tk, I'll add a slash, slash, wp-admin. I suggest because of time you just write the steps, you can follow them, and I, I can also send you the links on your emails. Then. What we, we, we created an account where we are going to put our details. No, it's admin, sorry. And then the password. I hope we have fine internet. Let's just dismiss that. <coughs> dismiss that too. At the end. This is what happens when you enter WordPress. And we are going to create our website now. What are we going to do? Expand it. Now for me, I'm confused. <laughs> Thank you. Are we there now? Now, the first thing we are going to do, I'm going to choose a theme. <laughs> so you will come to themes. Inside your WordPress dashboard, you will go to themes. <coughs> and then from the menu, you must have something in the background. What, what do you need? How do you want your theme to look like? By default, WordPress has some, some themes, but I, there, is some, there is a theme I prefer. Go up. 
add new and then we are going to look for a theme called Ocean WP. <coughs> so here we have our theme, and then what you do is install it. And then activate it. Now that we have installed and activated our theme, what do we do? Will you click on the plus? Plus at the end, at the end. Let us type our website again. What does it look like with a new theme? Schoolacademy.tk. <coughs> now, that was just a slight change, and this is what our website looks like. But this is not what we like. We are going to install a page builder called Elementor. So we shall go back to our WordPress, then come to, go down, install plugins. Where is add new? Yes. Install plugins. Come and help me. Now here we have Elementor. Sorry, just a bit. We have Elementor here, <coughs> and then we are going to install Elementor. for our website. What are we going to do? Let's go back, let's go to pages. Let's click, on, click on pages. Then let's go to <coughs> add new page. Add new, yes, add new page. And let us think about the pages that schools need. One of them is home. I, I have, let, let me do this, do this in five minutes, then after we shall, we shall finish the rest. <coughs> Did you click add new? Sorry, remove. Put home. I wish you did it with a capital H. And then, Why is it bringing schedule? Uh, <coughs> use Elementor. No, 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 I want to create more pages. Mm -hmm. Home, and then let's create just one other page. Let's create maybe a news a news page. News. And then save. And that's all. And then lastly, for now, because of time, we shall create a menu. Help us create a menu. Appearance. You'll go to appearance and then create a menu.
Mm. And then we are going to create a menu. Then we shall scroll down. Do we have our pages? Where are our pages? We don't have a page yet. They are not there yet. They are not saved. Hello? Uh, we don't have the time now, I think. Yes? Yeah, uh, when it says schedule, it means that uh, there, when, on the page, yeah, only that you are zoomed in. There's a part for where there is date. So either the date on your computer is a date of the server. So it thinks that you want just to schedule. Okay. All, all, all in all, this process now, because of time, in the interest of time, this whole process will take me around 20 minutes to create a school, a school website, a basic school website. Then uh, uh, the, the issues to do with putting the content, that is up to you. But you take a year or in one day, that is up to you. Now what I suggest is that maybe after this session, we shall, we, you, you, will, you will give me your contacts and I will send you these other steps on your WhatsApp numbers or Gym or email accounts. Now we are due to the content there. Yeah, it's because of time. Eh? Members, uh, we are out of time, so I don't know whether I shall have. Yes? Yes, sir? Yes, please. Yes? Uh, gentlemen, at least I've taken you to WordPress. I've given you the first steps. The next steps, I created them for 10 year olds. I believe we can follow those steps. I wish to give the next time, the, the, the next, the, the next person in line, time to give us something. <laughs>